Good day. In today's video, I will teach you how to program the inverse kinematics of our SCADA V3 in our graphical user interface from our previous uh, forward kinematics tutorial videos. So again, this is our SCADA V3. This is its uh, parametric table. Okay. Then uh, we will use the graphical method to obtain the inverse kinematic solution of our SCADA V3. So we will redraw it. Okay, we will draw it in its uh, top view and front view so this is the solution of our uh, SCADA v3 inverse kinematics using graphical method so we have here seven solutions okay from the top view we have six solutions while we have uh, one solution for the front view okay? so we will go in our uh, virtual machine okay, in our folder to create a program of inverse kinematics so Let's go to our folder and from our kinematics folder we will add a new file we will name it ikin.py in that pi okay. okay so from uh so we will in import first the numpy as np then i will just indicate that this is inverse kinematics using graphical method graphical method okay. so i will put first our given link lengths is equals to float plus open parenthesis input plus open parenthesis okay quotation double quotation a1 equals so we have uh, four link lengths. So I will uh, copy this and paste three times. So two, three, then four. Then next is the next is the position vector or the elements of the position vector. So I will uh, give it uh, a variable x e. Then like the link lengths. The statement will be float, close open parenthesis, input, close open parenthesis, uh, quotation mark, double quotation x equals. So we have uh, three elements, the y, that's the x, y, and z. So I will uh, copy and paste this three times. And edit. Okay. So this is our position vector. Next is the code for the inverse kinematics using graphical method so we'll uh, copy it from our uh, solution sheet so first we will uh, copy the p2 okay because it is the first solution so we will copy it or we will program it based on the arrangement or the numbering of our solutions okay so number one is uh p2 so this is to solve for theta two or th2 so our first solution is p2 this was 2 and p dot arc and then close open parenthesis y e over x e so this is the first solution next our second sol solution is r1 so the pythagorean theorem so r1 is equals to n p dot s q s q RT close open parenthesis y e asterisk asterisk 2 plus x x e asterisk asterisk 2. Okay, so this is the second solution. The third solution is v1. Okay, the third solution, okay, so it's v1. v1 is equals to np dot r cosine close open parenthesis a4 squared minus a2 okay so this is the numerator so i will put it inside of an of a close open parenthesis so i'm typing now the numerator as r1 divided by close open parenthesis negative 2 times times a2 times r1 so this will be our third equation or third solution our fourth solution is the solution to obtain 
uh, theta 2. So, V2 minus V1. So, V is 2 is equal to V2 minus V1. Okay. So, this is simply our fourth solution. Okay. So, if we want the answer is uh, in degrees, that's uh, multiply the difference of V2 and V1 to the conversion factor of a uh, region to degrees, which is a 180. 80 times np.5 okay. next so we will now uh, input the program for theta 3 to solve for theta 3 okay. so to solve for theta 3 our first solution is uh, p3 okay. the inverse cosine to, achieve, uh, to obtain p3 so p3 is equals to np dot r cosine close open parenthesis r1 squared minus a2 squared minus a4 squared okay uh so this is the numerator we will uh, put it inside another close open parenthesis then this will be our denominator okay inside again if i close open parenthesis our denominator is negative 2 Okay, times a2 times a4. So uh, this will be our fifth, fifth solution. Okay. So let me just check if it, this is uh, correct. Next is uh, the sixth, sixth solution, which is the uh, solution to obtain theta 3. So this is 180 minus v3. PH3 is equals to 180 degrees minus P3. Okay, so this will be our sixth solution. So in this uh, solution, 180 is in degrees, P3 is in region. So to have uh, an answer which is in degrees, we will multiply P3. Okay, we will multiply P3 to our conversion factor which is 180 over NP.5. Okay, then our last. Our last uh, joint variable is d sub uh, 1. So to solve for d sub 1, okay, I will use a capital uh, D for our variable. So d sub 1 has a solution of this. Okay, this is the seventh solution. So it is a z t minus a1 minus a3. Okay. So this is our seventh solution. So to print the answers, Let's just uh, create the program print or the statement print print then and be that around so I, I want my answer to three decimal but three decimal places okay and I will copy this and paste three times okay so this is a uh, th2 two and this is a th and this is th okay so let's, so let's test the functionality of this uh, program let's go to the terminator sorry let's go to the terminator let's go first to the folder of the program Python 3, I can that file. Okay, so it will ask uh, the link length. So I will use the example uh, 24A1. Oops, sorry, they are not edited again. Okay, this will be A2. This will be A3. Then this will be A4. So again, you see this uh, V3. CD kinematics and Python 3. Python 3, I can that five. Okay, so A1 will be 20, A2 will be 30, A3 will be 10, A4 will be 15. So we will, uh, we need the forward kinematics and the, the links and workspace analysis to put 
a value for x, y, and z. So let us just uh, use uh, 45. x equals to 45, y equals to 0. And uh, z will be equals to 30. Okay? So the answer should be, uh, answers should be all 0 because this is the position vector if all the joint variables is 0. So to check this or to easily or uh, to easily uh, put a value for x, y, and z, we need uh, forward kinematics. Okay, so I will uh, put this program to our graphical user interface, which has uh, forward kinematics. Okay, for easy computation of our given position position vector.